closed captions have been an essential feature on YouTube for 12 years. They have made the platform more accessible, not only by serving transcripts for users who are deaf and hard of hearing, but also by providing translations in a multitude of languages. And for about 8 years, YouTube has also supported one form or another for viewers to be able to contribute closed captions on videos which do not already have them. Which is why a few weeks ago, it came as an unpleasant surprise when Google announced that they were removing community contributions starting on September 28th. Now to be clear, closed captions are not going anywhere, but viewers will no longer be allowed to contribute captions. Previously published captions will remain online, however, unpublished submissions, which are in review, and newly submitted ones will no longer be publishable after September 28th. It is unknown if attribution for previously published captions will remain intact. Even more confusing was Google's justification for this removal, which they provided on the YouTube support community, lamenting that content creators and viewers expressed dismay at the frequent abuse and low quality in community captions, they attributed the relatively rare usage of this feature to the bad name it had made for itself. It was a broken and unwanted feature which warranted a discontinuation. Let's talk a bit about just how rare that usage statistic is. Quote unquote, the feature is rarely used with less than 0.001% of channels having published community captions, showing on less than 0.2% of watch time in the last month. Recently, Tubix, a company that provides SEO for content creators on YouTube, made a blog post where they presented some interesting statistics on YouTube channels. Using Social Blade data, they determined that a very small percentage of all the channels on YouTube have the majority of viewership, so clearly, this is not a well-defined metric that takes the number of users who utilize captions into consideration, and nor is the watch time percentage. In reality, this feature could have an impact on potentially millions of viewers. Not to mention, YouTube themselves are directly responsible for the decline of community contributions, as last year they changed the feature to require uploader approval on all captions to be published, but previously, other viewers could give approval through consensus. So really, the game is rigged. YouTube made it harder to publish captions, and then they reported that they were being used less frequently. The ulterior motive here is likely to promote Google's own automatic captions and especially their automatic translation. Their accuracy has been drastically improving over the years, and in some cases this really is the only reliable way to translate a video into a less spoken language. But that being said, is it a replacement for community contributions? We don't think so. There are a lot of use cases unique to community contributions which aren't offered by any of Google's alternatives. 1. When a user uploads their captions or Google generates it for them, it's often a one-time process. If there is a mistake, no one is going to go back to fix it. But with community contributions, users can build off of previous work by correcting one another, not unlike how a wiki works. 2. Even though community contributions carry the risk of sabotage, they also provide viewers with the power to moderate. Did someone sneak in a joke on a video you were watching? Just go into the caption editor and edit it out. This way, the uploader delegates the task of moderation to their own viewers. 3. Where automated captions are stuck with plain text, and uploaders are limited by the time they are willing to invest to stylize their captions, there are people out there waiting to tap into their potential. YouTube supports a plethora of caption and subtitle formats, which a seasoned captioner can use to add color, formatting, and emphasis. 4. In translation, there are times when we don't want it to be too precise. An example could be explaining the meaning of a word at the wordplay in a joke. And although there are techniques to recognize proper names, there are sentences that automated translation is just not designed to handle. Take for instance this clip from Crash Course Literature, where John Green is explaining the parallels between the name of Winston Smith, the protagonist of 1984, and Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of the UK. The tricky part here is conveying the relationship between the two names in translation. The automatically generated captions translate church into iglesia and fail to translate hill into colina. Whereas in the manually captioned version, the captioner can both include the English word and its Spanish equivalent to dodge this ambiguity altogether. As you can see, there are all too many reasons not to remove community contributions. Not to mention that there are also countless deaf and international YouTubers who depend on this feature to be able to reach their audience. Which is why more and more YouTubers are campaigning against the change. There's a change.org petition, which has already been signed by over 500,000 people. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a pretty significant figure. Even charities such as the British Deaf Association and Action on Hearing Loss have pleaded with YouTube to reconsider their decision. What Google should be doing instead of removing community contributions altogether 
should be fixing the bugs which make this feature exploitable, such as spammers being able to use alt accounts to approve their own spam captions. Here at Data Horde, we've been chronicling the history of closed captions on YouTube, and it might surprise you to find out that Google previously patented an alternative model for community contribution. In this alternative version, invented by Ken Herrenstein, viewers would be able to contribute multiple captions even in the same language. Moderation will be rating-based, and the better a caption file was, the more users would give it a higher score. If you did not like the top option, you would always have an alternative. Instead of being doomed to a single faulty or spammy caption file, it truly is a mystery why they never went through with the idea. Check out the video description if you want to find out more about it. Or another idea is that Google could add a suggestion feature on the automatically generated captions. They've been able to improve the accuracy on Google Translate a lot through the suggestions feature there. But completely blocking viewer input on captions is definitely not the answer. Because if Google is not going to offer actual alternatives, the same community who has been contributing captions this whole time will. A project called YouTube External CC went viral a few days ago and has been especially embraced by the J-pop community. Making captioning exclusive to the channel owner and Google's own tools is going to make a lot of lives harder when people are dying to make those same lives easier. So go on and spread the word. If you have an active channel, approve some captions from the subtitle tab in YouTube Studio. If you're a fan of a channel with community contributions, show them some love these next few days. The question is, what will your contribution be? Be sure to also check out the Safe Community Contributions Discord server, where we are coordinating our efforts to rally people to the cause. Link in the description.